Welcome everyone to Bitcoin, Blockchain and Crypto Assets. This is the introductory blockchain course at the University of Basel and part of our new Open Crypto Lecture Series. Now this class starts at the very beginning, so no matter whether this is your first touching point with blockchain or you already have some experience, this course will help you to understand the foundation and see beyond the hype. If you are committed, you will learn everything you need to understand this innovation and get a head start on your journey down the rabbit hole. Yes, of course, there are many other resources on the internet. Some of them are great, some of them, well, let's say not so great. But the thing is that it is really hard to find courses that take an in-depth yet interdisciplinary approach. And that is exactly what we're trying to do here. We will give you all the resources you need, start at the very beginning, and then tackle the important aspects of this innovation throughout the semester. The course consists of seven sections, each of which will contain multiple videos and various resources. Section one starts quite slow and easy. We will look into the characteristics and foundations of money, briefly talk about payment systems and wrap up with a first very high level overview of Bitcoin. The idea is that this section serves as a first primer and a general introduction. In section two, we look into the networking aspects. We talk about the concept of peer-to-peer -peer networks and quickly analyze how the Bitcoin network is set up and information exchanged. Section three is a little more math heavy. Here we lay the cryptographic foundations for what's to come. We look into the concept of hash functions and symmetric as well as asymmetric encryption with a particular focus on elliptic curves and the ECDSA. Section four shows how these cryptographic building blocks are applied in the context of Bitcoin. We look into individual transactions and the UTXO model, analyze Bitcoin's grip, that is the scripting language that is used in the context of Bitcoin, as well as various payment conditions and signature types. Section 5 turns to the question of how we can achieve consensus in a decentralized network. We look at the concept of blocks, how they are assembled, talk about the chain structure and why it is important, introduce various consensus protocols and talk about forks, game theoretic incentives, and potential attack vectors. In section six, we look into the history of digital money. We talk about Bitcoin valuation models, volatility, the risk of illicit activity, and we will also briefly touch on CBDC, that is central bank digital currency, as well as stable coins. Finally, in section seven, we will tackle the advanced topics, such as economic scripting, segregated witness, transaction malleability, and of course, scalability, with a particular focus on payment channels and the Lightning Network. As you can see, this course will be a mixture of economics, computer science, and cryptography. And that is exactly what you need to truly understand this interesting topic. If and only if you have learned the basics of all of these disciplines, you will be able to understand and appreciate this innovation. The course is loosely based on a textbook that I have written together with Professor Alexander Berenson. It has been published by the MIT Press, and it really acts as some sort of a companion book to this class. If you're looking for additional reading material, I can also recommend the books by Andreas Antonopoulos and Jimmy Song. Both of them are excellent. The first time we offered this class at the University of Basel was back in 2017. Since then, we have constantly updated it. Due to the great demand, not just from our students, but also from the general public, we decided to make the material open with no access restrictions whatsoever. This undergrad, or as we call it in Switzerland, bachelor's level course, is the first one in this format. But there's much more to come. We are planning to make all of our blockchain courses completely open. No matter if you're a student from the University of Basel, a student from a different university enrolled through the University of Basel, or someone who isn't officially enrolled and really just wants to follow along, you will have access to all the material and all the videos. The videos are on YouTube and the material can be found on GitHub. But the easiest way is, is to just visit CryptoLectures.io. That is CryptoLectures, one word, .io. And there you'll find a structured learning platform with all the material for this and any future classes. Now, before we get started, I do have some important information for our University of Basel students. As always, at the end of the semester, you will have to take a final exam. And for this class, it's a 90-minute closed book exam. It will be a combination of true-false as well as multiple choice questions and you will have text boxes and number boxes. And yes, 
you may use the usual non-programmable calculator as defined by the official list on our faculty website. In addition to the exam, there will be a mid-semester problem set. It will be available to everyone, uh, but if you're officially enrolled and therefore taking the exam, you can get extra credit for solving it and handing it in before the deadline. You will get all the necessary information with the problem set. All right, that's it. One last thing, actually. As you can probably imagine, this really is an enormous project. And even though you have to settle with me talking to you throughout the semester, there is, of course, an entire team behind the scenes. We have Mitchell Goldberg, Matthias Nadler and Katrin Schuler, who are internal PhD candidates here in our group, as well as Lorenz Gehring, Jakob Roth and Daria Türkauf, who are student assistants. And I'm very proud of this team and what we have achieved so far. And I'd just like to mention that this would not be possible without them. So yeah, that's it for the introductory video. Next time we will talk about the basics of monetary theory. Stay curious. See you soon.